The ancient seat of the progenitors of Western civilization, Rome is a classic European city that is a mix of historic ruins, stunning works of art and architecture, great food and a vibrant city life, making it one of the most beautiful and romantic cities in the world. Rome was the third most visited city in the world in 2017, with 20 million visitors. A popular tourist destination, the city is a vibrant melange of historical ruins and modern architecture. With eat, pray, love having added to the general quaint charm of Rome, walking the cobbled streets and soaking in La Dolceveda, the sweet life is one of the best experiences to have in the city. Rome has an immensely rich cultural heritage, which makes it one of Europe's most stunning cities to visit. Its contemporary fashion offerings and modern nightlife, coupled with its historic legacy, make it attractive for travelers of all ages and interest groups. If you're a nature lover, Rome's beautiful gardens and the nature are a treat for the eyes. One of Europe's most historical cities, Rome balances its past with its present, as the historic ruins stand in the heart of this sprawling contemporary city. Its strong cultural offerings make it a must-visit destination. The Colosseum, Palatine Hill, and Roman Forum cover a vast amount of space, and with such busy tourist crowds around, it can take you quite a few hours to get through everything you want to see. There are also other attractions in the nearby area and plenty of nice places to sit down, grab a drink, and relax so set aside at least a whole day for central Rome so you can enjoy it at your own pace. Close to the Roman Forum and also the Piazza Veneza, this site is conveniently placed near other tourist attractions and amenities. Your nearest metro station is Colosseo, Line B, which is just one minute away from the site itself. And although the metro service in the city isn't the best for getting around the central districts, all of Rome's top attractions are actually very well serviced. When it comes to getting your tickets for the Colosseum, there are a number of options you may want to consider. You can book it online or go with a tour. Also, Colosseum Ticket Office is not the only place to buy. Try one of the other nearby ticket offices, such as Via de San Gregorio Palatine, Largo Salura Vecchia, or former Largo Romolo Arimo, Roman Forum, and Via Sacra, Roman Forum, Arco di Tito. Here are the things that you simply cannot miss. Asterisk Arena Floor. This is where all the action was, and to look up at the top seating areas will highlight just how large the Colosseum really is. Asterisk Hypojum. This is the underground level beneath the arena floor where slaves, prisoners, animals, and gladiators were kept during public spectacles and events. Asterisk the third tier, like the underground tunnels, the third tier section of the Colosseum is not accessible for the general public, and you must book with a tour. The Pantheon was originally built by Marcus Agrippa in 27 BC. Agrippa was the Emperor Augustus' right-hand man, general, admiral, and son-in-law. It likely served as a dynastic sanctuary, an assembly hall where the public could gather. Hadrian would have held court on a throne to oversee the public meetings. The Fontana del Pantheon was commissioned by Pope Gregory XIII. It's the centerpiece of the Piazza della Rotonda, in which the Pantheon sits. The fountain was designed by Giacomo della Porta and sculpted by Leonardo Sormini. The interior of the Pantheon is one of perfect harmony and symmetry. It's spherical, 142 feet in height and diameter, with a one-to-one -one proportion. You can see the Roman obsession with geometry in the circles and squares that predominate, particular on the floor, which was restored in the 19th century. Geometry was intended to symbolize order within the Roman Empire. The interior of the Pantheon, like many buildings in Rome, was given a Baroque facelift. 
so the decoration is mostly from the Baroque era. You can get to the Pantheon by Metro. The nearest Metro station is Spagna, the Spanish Steps, a 15 minutes walk from the Pantheon. Pi Bus, board a bus that connects the Vatican to Termini Station, bus numbers 40, 60, and 64. Get off at Largo di Torre Argentina, the site of Julius Caesar's assassination. From there, it's a five minutes walk. By hop on hop off bus. If you have a hop on hop off bus ticket, the bus stops near Piazza Navona. The Piazza is a four to five minutes walk from the Pantheon. The Trevi Fountain or Fontana di Trevi is the most famous fountain in Rome and one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city. It stars in photos and movies set in Rome, and it is one of the most popular Rome monuments visitors seek out in Rome. On a standard year, it attracts over 1,000 visitors per hour, and it features in all walking itineraries of Rome Center. The Trevi Fountain is a Baroque masterpiece, and it is famous for its beauty, size and fascinating, and fun legends attached to it. Just a few steps from Piazza di Spagna and the Pantheon, the Trebi Fountain is a must-see for any visitor exploring the Italian capital. The fountain's name is directly derived from the square in which it is located, Piazza di Trevi, which was once the crossroads of three roads, Trevi in Italian. The Trevi Fountain is located just a few steps from Piazza di Spagna and the Pantheon, Access is free 24 7 That said being said, be prepared. Massive crowds of tourists pretty much constantly flock to the fountain. If you want to admire the monument, relatively, quietly, you should either go very early in the morning or after dinner in the evening. The nearest transports are Metro, Barberini Station, Bus, Stop Tritone, Fontana di Trevi, Hop on hop of tourist bus. Located just a few steps from the Pantheon and Campo de Fiori, Piazza Navona is without doubt one of the most beautiful squares in the Roman capital. Lined with cafes, ice cream parlors, and restaurants, this Baroque masterpiece is a meeting place for strollers, tourists, and foodies. In 86 AD, the Emperor Domitian, of the Flavian dynasty, famous for having built the Colosseum, had a stadium built on the site of the current Piazza Navona. With a capacity of 30,000 spectators, the Stadium of Domitian was dedicated to Greek-style games, pugilism, discus throwing, javelin throwing, and running. In late antiquity, the stadium was abandoned and gradually fell into ruin. As was customary in the Middle Ages, the building was dismantled over the centuries and its materials, stone blocks, etc., reused for new constructions. Piazza Navona was voted the third most beautiful square in the world by the Project for Public Spaces in 2005. Designed by Bernini, whose sumptuous sculptures can be admired in the Borghese Gallery, the Fountain of the Four Rivers, Fontana di Quattro Fiumi, is an absolute masterpiece. Each of the four monumental statues in the fountain represents a river, symbolizing the four continents known in the mid-17th century. The Danube, Europe, the Nile, Africa, the Ganges, Asia, and the Rio de la Plata, America. The Oceanian continent is not represented, as it had simply not been discovered at the time. Palatine Hill. For decades, this historic site has yielded buried treasures, including ancient palaces and beautiful frescoes. Much of Palatine Hill is now dominated by the ruins of Domitian's palace. But there's plenty more to see. The Palatine Hill also offers stunning views over the Roman Forum. Domitian's palace was built circa 81 AD. It was the residence of emperors for three centuries. Domitian hired master architect Rabirius to create a massive imperial palace for him. 
It was so grand that one poet remarked it made Jupiter jealous. The stadium of Domitian is an oblong sunken space that looks like a racetrack. It was most likely used as Domitian's personal gardens. It may also have been the scene of small sporting events, like foot races, though it was too small for chariots. There are ruins of a two-story exedra, an architectural recess crowned with a dome at one end. This was the private box of the emperors. Unlike previous emperors, except Nero, Domitian wasn't interested in public architecture. He didn't follow in the footsteps of his father Vespasian or his brother Titus. Combined ticket to visit the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Palatine. Adults, 16 euros. European Union members, 18 to 24, 2 euros. Children, ages less than 17, and seniors, over 65, members of the Europe avail free entrance. Means of transportation are Metro Station, Colosseo, Line B. Bus stop, Colosseo. Buses, 60, 75, 84, 85, 87, 117, 175, 186, 271, 571, 810, and 850. Next to the Piazza Venezia Square, there is the remarkable white monument honoring Italy's first king, Vittorio Emmanuel II. Italians also call the monument of Victor Emmanuel II, Il Vittoriano, and Altera della Patria, or Altar of the Fatherland. The monument commemorates the unification of Italy in 1861, and the first king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel II. Although this monument was built in his honor, he is not buried there. Instead, he is buried in the Pantheon. The impressive building was built between 1895 and 1911 on top of Palatine Hill and was designed by Giuseppe Sacconi. The Altair della Patria contains a lot of white marble from the region of Brescia. Because of how large it is, 135 meters wide and 70 meters high, the building was also given several nicknames, ranging from the wedding cake, the dentures to the typewriter. Villa Bordis is a large park in the center of Rome and one so special, it often enters the list of must-see places in Rome. If you have never been to the Borghese Gardens, this may come as a surprise. With all the things to see in Rome, is a park really among the best of them? We believe it is because Villa Borghese is not just any park. It is a historical villa, the home of the wonderful Borghese Gallery one of the most beautiful art collections in the world, a place to play, run and eat, and one of the best places to catch a view over Rome. No matter your age or travel style, I believe a morning in the Bordis Gardens are going to be a Rome highlight. It develops over almost 200 acres, 197.7, and stretches between the areas of Piazza del Popolo, Piazza di Spagna, Via Veneto and the residential neighborhood of Iperioli. Buses going to Villa Borghese. Several buses and the metro serve the park, including 38, 52, 53, 61, 63, 89, 92, 160, 223, 360, 490, 495, 910, Tram 19 and 3. Metro at stops Barberini and Spagna are within walking distance from the park, about 10 minutes on foot. There is not Metro stop serving the park as such. The villa is very large and has plenty of things to see. If you want to just go to the park, you can enter from any of its entrances and you will find plenty of places to sit on the grass, on a bench or relax under the pine trees. 
The Basilica de Santa Maria Maggiore is known as the largest Catholic Marian church in Rome. At 7,360 square meters, it has held this title over 25 other Marian churches for about 16 centuries. It is also one of the few major basilicas to retain its original structure, despite a 14th century earthquake and subsequent renovation. Its decorations and additions are the cumulative work of various popes who presided in different eras, but the interior structure has been the same since the time Pope Sixtus II was in power in the 5th century. Santa Maria Maggiore was one of the first churches built and dedicated to the Virgin Mary. It was constructed to commemorate the Council of Ephesus of 431, which proclaimed Mary as the Mother of God. After the period of the Avignon Papacy, when the popes returned to Rome, the basilica was also used as a temporary papal palace before the palace was moved to the Vatican. All of its sculptures and paintings within the areas of worship remain currently intact, remaining as majestic as ever. It also houses a priceless art collection in its museum. At the same time, the main area of the basilica remains an active venue for worship. The Piazza di Spagna, or Square of Spain, is one of Rome's most renowned squares. The name comes from the Palazzo di Spagna, the seat of the Spanish Embassy for the Vatican located on this square since the 17th century. The Piazza di Spagna is found in one of the most popular neighborhoods of Rome, near the high streets Via di Condotti, Via Fratina, and Via del Babuino which houses several impressive 17th and 18th century villas. The Spanish steps, Scalinata di Trinita di Monte in Italian, were built at the beginning of the 18th century, connecting Piazza di Spagna and the Church of Trinita di Monte. It is one of the most famous parts of Rome. Every July, the square and the 135 steps are decorated to receive the Don Sato Lestel fashion show. The staircase is a favorite spot among tourists to sit, relax, and enjoy the views of Piazza di Spagna. The Fontana della Barcaccia, Fountain of the Ugly Boat, was designed by Pietro Bernini, father of the famous Gian Lorenzo Bernini, who later helped with the creation. It was finished in 1627 and placed by Pope Urban II in the center of Piazza di Spagna. The Fontana della Barcaccia is shaped as a boat and has the emblems of the Barberini family, the noble family of Pope Urban III, these, and a son engraved. Nestled in the northern part of Rome's historic center, the Piazza del Popolo was once the gateway to the Italian capital. Although it has long since lost this role, the Piazza del Popolo remains one of the most emblematic squares in the Eternal City and is well worth a visit. Like many Roman squares, Piazza Navona, Piazza di Spagna, the Piazza del Popolo is dotted with fountains sculpted by some of the greatest Italian artists. So don't miss the opportunity to admire. The Fontana del Nettuno, located to the west of the square and representing the Roman god Neptune brandishing his trident and surrounded by two dolphins. The fountain roamed between the Tiber and the Inane. Located below the Pincio Hill, with at its feet the she-wolf of the capital, suckling Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of the Eternal City. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Your assistance will enable us to produce additional informative guides.